In a calm village among the tall mountains, there was a smart and calm Zen master named Rico. People from all over would come to him for help. He liked telling stories that made people think. One day, a young person asked Rico about making friends and who not to be friends with. Rico nodded and started his story. In this world, my friend, we encounter various souls on our journey, some meant to accompany us for a lifetime and others for a fleeting moment. Among these, there are five types of individuals whom one might consider letting go of as friends. The first type of person is the one who pretends to know everything. They speak about subjects they know little about and try to appear knowledgeable. But in reality, they lack true understanding and may mislead themselves and others. They may also interrupt conversations to share their own opinions, even if they are not asked. This type of person often dominates conversations and may belittle others who know more than them. They may also have a hard time accepting criticism or new ideas that go against their own. As a result, they can come across as arrogant and off-putting to others. Being around a know-it-all can be exhausting and demoralizing. It can make you feel like you're never good enough and that your own knowledge and experiences are worthless. If you have a know-it-all in your life, it's important to set boundaries and to not let them make you feel bad about yourself, and it is always better to surround yourself with those who are humble and open to learning. 2. The second type of person is the one with a judgmental mind. They constantly criticize and find fault in others. They are never satisfied and always have something negative to say. They may judge people's appearance, their intelligence, their choices, or their actions. Being around a judge can be very stressful. It can make you feel like you're always walking on eggshells and that you can never do anything right. If you have a judge in your life, it's important to remember that their judgments are not about you. They are about the judge's own insecurities and issues. 3. The third type of person is the taker who never gives. The taker is someone who only cares about themselves and what they can get from others. They are always asking for favors and never giving anything back. They may borrow money and never pay it back, or they may always want to be the center of attention. Being around a taker can be very draining. It can make you feel like you're always being used and that your time and energy are not valued. If you have a taker in your life, it's important to set boundaries and to not let them take advantage of you. Instead, seek out those who are generous and empathetic. 4. The fourth type of person is the one who talks but never acts. They are all talk and no action. They are someone who advises you a lot what in their own life they does nothing. They have grand ideas and dreams but never take any steps towards achieving them. They may make big promises but they never follow through. They may also be very critical of others but they are not willing to put their own money where their mouth is. Being around a talker can be very frustrating. It can make you feel like your time is being wasted and that your efforts are not appreciated. If you have a talker in your life, it's important to not get caught up in their words. Focus on their actions and don't be afraid to call them out on their BS. 5. The fifth and final type of person is the echo chamber. The echo chamber is someone who only surrounds themselves with people who agree with them. They are not open to new ideas and are always trying to reinforce their own beliefs. They may dismiss any information that contradicts their worldview, even if it is presented in a respectful and logical way. Being around an echo chamber can be very isolating. It can make you feel like you're the only one who sees the world the way you do. If you have an echo chamber in your life, it's important to find other people who are willing to challenge your thinking and help you grow as a person. The seeker bowed deeply, grateful for the wisdom shared. And as they walked away from the Zen master's abode, their heart felt lighter, ready to embrace the path ahead with a deeper understanding of the friendships they sought. In the days that followed, the seeker thought about the Zen master's words. Little by little, those teachings started to reshape his life. He used to be like the first person, 
pretending he knew everything. But after hearing the bamboo story, he realized that true wisdom is humble, not showy. He began to listen more and share what he genuinely knew, letting go of the need to impress. As time passed, he noticed significant changes in his life. He felt happier and lighter, and his life became much more fulfilling. He found that he had more time and energy to focus on activities that he loved and to surround himself with people who inspired him to be a better person. His new friends brought new ideas and opportunities into his life, and he felt grateful for the change. Now, whenever he encounters someone who is negative, critical, or simply doesn't align with his values, he knows to stay away and surround himself with those who uplift and inspire him. Thank you for hearing. I hope you like the advices shared in this story and follow it in your daily life.